Cut the cameras. Hello, people. How y'all doing? Hi. Hi, hello. I'm Emma and I make movie commentaries. And yes, this week it is in fact a movie commentary. I thought we would take a break from the Euphoria universe, the Euphoria journey that we're on, and do something that I understand is just as much traumatizing. Today, we are watching Tusk, um, a movie that I have never seen for good reasons, I believe. <laughs> I was supposed to watch Terrifier 2 today and honey, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. No. So I need more encouragement in the comments for me to watch Terrifier 2. I am not ready. I don't want to. Um, <laughs> but instead, we are still watching body horror, if I understand correctly. Tusk is a little movie, I think made by A24, I don't actually know. From what I've heard, it is a movie. It is a movie, yeah. And I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I don't know. But I'm excited. Am I? Should I be? I don't know. So, if you want to watch Tusk with me, um, well, grab a drink, grab a snack, and without further ado, let's get into it. It's my pants. <laughs> Based on actual events. <laughs> okay. Min Liza Minnelli impersonator. <laughs> Gangslinger! And the kid from The Sixth Sense. Canada? My god, is this movie in Canada? Until next time, I'm Teddy Craft. And this is Wallace Brighton. His name is Wallace, which to me sounds like walrus. And the name of the movie is Tusk. And if I understand correctly, walruses have tusks. Canada. We're in Canada. Yeah, you're damn right, hockey. Don't really follow hockey. Okay. Hands off the counter, please. <laughs> really? Sorry. 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 Listen, I'm Canadian. I have never watched a game of hockey all the way through in my entire life. So don't stereotype me, bitch. Canadian doesn't get sad. Right there on our flag. You see that in America, you may be red, white, and blue. But in Canada, you're red, white, but never blue, eh? Damn, spinning facts. That is so true. We're never blue, dude. Minus 40 degrees wetter, never blue, bitch. <laughs> Being stuck in endless spring with mud all over the place and rain, glacial rain. No, I'm never blue, I'm never depressed. Like not having sunlight for 16 hours a day. <laughs> no, I'm never, I'm never depressed. I take vitamin D pills, yeah. What the fuck is this? He fucking died because y'all humiliated him on the internet. Hey. <laughs> so what I'm gathering from Gangslinger right now is that he's kind of an asshole. He's kind of not a very nice dude. And he has an ugly mustache. I hate mustaches. Let's be honest. Let's talk about it right now. PSA, I hate mustaches. I I actually do not like facial hair. That's me. It grosses me out. It does. Uh, and especially a mustache, because from my understanding, a mustache always gets in your mouth and in your food when you eat. That is gross. And it's most of the time fucking ugly. I don't want to shame you. I don't want to judge your appearance, but... I want to change the light. Hello. I'm an old man who has enjoyed a long and storied life at sea. And after eons of oceanic adventure... Why did you post like an entire letter on a bathroom wall, my dude? Tonight would be... That'd be amazing, sir. Yes, thank you. Okay, let me just ask somebody how far I am. Excuse me. Oh my hey. god. I've never actually seen that movie, but those are the girls from that movie about... That movie that I've never seen, so I don't know. It's, is it a crossover? So to this end, I'm offering a room for rent in my stately wooden home. Okay, so my dude is going to a stranger's house that he find in 
the bathroom on the wall. Um, I don't know if it is the American in him or I don't know if it's the men in him, but what? Like, honey, and I don't know if it's the podcaster in him because that could also be true, but I would never, I would never just go to someone's house that I don't know in the middle of the night. Honey, you deserve what you get. You deserve what you get. I don't want to assume maybe this man is a very nice man. But this is a horror movie. Hello? Just entering like that. Rude. Hello? Hello? Okay. Good evening. You're good. Don't accept anything to drink. Don't accept anything to eat. Do, don't... Do, don't wander around the house. Don't do that. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. Could I interest you in some tea? No, thank you. This. Thank you. You bet. You drink the tea. Don't drink the tea. Don't accept like i know it's rude and it is in fact my worst fear to not accept tea from someone when i come to their house but do not do not do that fake drink it my dude it's kind of spooked to get out of the car in the middle of nowhere well at least you're self-aware did i understand you correctly on the phone when you said you weren't looking for a living arrangement mm -mm. no i live in los angeles oh yeah May I just say and notice that Howard is not drinking the tea? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the audience likes it real and raunchy, so I try to keep it real and raunchy. And real raunchy. <laughs> and he just keeps drinking that tea. Can I just tell you something? This is gonna sound really weird, but I've never had tea like this. It's blowing my mind. I feel like I've never had tea in my life. That's because there was a special ingredient in it. I'm guessing. So we drank. He keeps tea. drinking that damn well, tea. Well, actually, if you look to the right of the fireplace, you'll see the incredible aspect. Gangslinger, you're, you're too comfortable in this space. You're too comfortable. What's this? I see you have an eye for the unfamiliar and the curiosity of a cat. That's a penis. The uh, Alaskans call it an usik. Don't touch it. Oh. Whoa, so it's like a, like a walrus spine? No, it's more like a walrus car. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get my hands on it? Yes, of course. No, why? Well, I became acquainted with a walrus when I was lost at sea. Shut the front door. You were lost at sea? Like, listen, I love hearing people uh, tell their stories. So I would love having a discussion with Howard, but the vibes, the vibes? There, no, no, I would not like to be in that house. I don't trust you, Howard. Holy shit, did you find him? No, 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 we only found him. He's getting tired, he's getting tired. I know you've probably been scared of your times in your life, Mr. Brighton, but I would wager to say that you've never known true terror. He keeps drinking the tea. Oh my God. So I swam deeper and deeper into the ebony void. And I pray that whatever- Gangslinger! You're about to get fucked. Maybe not literally, but... Unbelievable. Yes. Gangslinger. You've been drugged. I didn't want to tell you, but I did tell you not to drink the fucking tea. You're fucked, my dude. I have never known such a fulfilling friendship with anyone. That is sad. Glorious months. Bye, Gangslinger. Your hubris got the better of you, bitch. Huh. AMC is coming to see the new Wallace's showcase next week because he is a juggernaut of a podcast hosted by New Wallace. <laughs> Old Wallace. Old Wallace was a fucking loser. It's interesting that we paint this character as being such a fucking asshole. What happened to you, honey? Because honestly, I hate body horror. I hate it. I hate it. And so I don't, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Oh, 
You're in a wheelchair. Uh, <sighs> what are you doing, Howard? Uh, uh. That is my nightmare. Oh my god, that's uh, that. <clears throat> Like, I'm not exaggerating. Like, waking up and having had, huh, I've been, you know, I've had surgery in my life. I've had three surgeries in my life. And my worst fear in life is, is to wake up ugh, and be, you know, have had something done to me. I can't even explain it. It truly fucking distresses me. Here you go. Here's your cup. What has he done? One of the time that I was... That, that I had surgery was to redo my whole face. And that was scary. The panic attack that I had before going under... It was traumatic. I also have like... This thing about... Being unconscious. Spider crawls out of your pant leg. Yes, a brown recluse. A rather toxic little insect. These woods are full of them. Liar! Oh shit, spider bit me? Where's my phone? Well, uh, I'm afraid the doctor stepped on it and broke it. I'm afraid it lies in pieces. Liar! Howard, I can't feel my legs. Really? Well, that would be the spinal injection, you see there. The recluse sank her fangs into you, and with the venom traveling to your heart, it forced the doctor to save your life, to take rather, as we say, drastic measures. My nightmare, my nightmare. What did he do? I know there was no doctor. I know that. Oh my god! That is my nightmare! Oh my god! Cut the cameras. Uh, there's no leg there. Oh. I'm having a panic attack right now. Why am I still here? Why aren't I in the hospital? Well, Fair question, Gangslinger. Dr. Musi thought it would be best of you. Oh, to stay here since oh that sanitized. is my nightmare. Ooh. I think that's why I've never watched The Human Centipede. Because waking up and being surgically altered is literally my nightmare. Because there's nothing you can do about it. You can regrow your goddamn leg. Dr. Musse removed all the phones from the house. He didn't want you disturbed. What the fuck? What the fuck? I gotta use a phone. I gotta talk to a doctor. Gangslinger, wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. There was no doctor. And you're in active danger. You're not gonna have access to a phone, asshole. Whew. This is the worst scenario. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I would rather, no, I won't say that. I would rather wake up in a saw trap, you know? Because in a saw trap, you can decide what you do. <laughs> you have a choice. My choice would be to not do anything and just let myself die. Because, uh, listen, honey, I don't give that much of a fuck. But not having a choice, you know, consent. Consent is a big thing in life. You're not eating. Why the fuck would I eat, honey? There was no spider, was there? You saw the spider? I, I, I just wish that I had spied the creature before it so viciously attacked you. There's no brown recluse in Canada. What the fuck do you mean? At least there's not when I'm, where I'm from. I don't think. <laughs> New fear unlocked. <laughs> the itty bitty spider crawl up the water spout. Holy sh- Let me out! Let me out, you old fucking nutbag! Oh my god, he can walk! Help! Somebody help! I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. He cannot move! He can't move! See, for some time now, I've been constructing I don't care I don't want to know a very realistic walrus suit oh you're freaky you're a freak you're crazy just a few minor modifications that will fit you perfectly no no whilst in the walrus suit you must be a walrus honey honey I feel like there's a 
particular subgroup of, um, you know, you can find someone that can like, that wants to be in that suit on eBay. You did not have to kidnap someone. Their mistake was they looked for the monsters out there. They shouldn't have left the dark. The beast has always lied within. But I understand the purpose of the mustache now. Because walruses have mustaches, you know? To answer the question which has plagued us, is man indeed a walrus at heart? Nobody asked that. Nobody, no, no one cares. That's not a real question. What, um... I know you want to have sex with the walrus, I know that. But leave me out of this. <laughs> leave me out of it, Howard. <laughs> Because it, in typical horror movies, well, first of all, the main character is a woman. And when the character is a woman, you know that she's going to make it out alive. Because she's going to find a way to fight back. But in this situation, not only the main character is a man, he is an asshole too. And I don't feel like he can do much. He's literally paralyzed. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna make it out alive, I don't... I mean, I don't know if we're gonna make it out. I like, we're already not in one piece, you know? To see his only little girl put out her life on hold for some cheating fucking asshole. Okay, acting, what the fuck are we doing right now? Who are you talking to? The sixth sense kid? Yeah, I get that. He's got that sixth sense, you know? <laughs> this has almost nothing to do with the movie, but my mom just went to the Dom Dominican Republic and <laughs> she just got back uh, like two nights ago. And, you know, I watch a lot of horror movies and I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. And she, when the, the day that she left, she did not give me any news for like 10 hours. For 10 hours, she did not say, I'm at the airport, we're leaving, or I got in the taxi to the airport. She never got me, she never, you know, updated me. And the things that was going through my mind is almost as bad as this. Like, I'm going crazy. So, being the girlfriend of someone, I mean, Canada is not where I would think people uh get in trouble but the, you know sex trafficking rate is really high whatever um but i was going crazy so i cannot like this movie is not good for my anxiety <laughs> why are you not picking up the phone i'm scared shitless man i think he wants me to turn this back Penis. It's always a penis. It is over, Mr. Brighton. So if you wish to continue living, you will be a walrus or you will be nothing at all. I'll take dying. I won't lie. I mean, I don't want to live that much, you know, and it's not, it's not a dark statement. Like, if my option is be a walrus or die, I'll, I'll take dying. Is it just me? Is that a crazy statement? I don't want to live that much and live as a walrus. No, no, I don't want that. What are you sewing right now? See, I am a Duplessis orphan. Now, Maurice Duplessis was the premier of Quebec. He was the head of the Conservative Party. It was strong ties to the Catholic Church. Maurice Duplessis calls. Yeah, that's bad news, but mention of Quebec, yeah! A great darkness. As a boy of ten... I must say, like, the practical effects, I mean, the practical effects, but also, like, the set decoration, oh my god, it's so great. When night falls in Montreal... Montreal! My house! I was placed in an abandoned boy's home in Quebec. So the place is in the church. They came up with a scheme to obtain more money by reclassifying the orphanages as mental health care facilities and sent all the children, including me, 
to insane asylums. Honestly, you deserve that. I was beaten. I was tortured. They never thought of me as a person. They just thought to use me. That's painting a very bad picture of my hometown. Let's not do that. <laughs> Man is a savage animal, Mr. Brighton. Ah. Uh, both legs. And none of this is sterile. Like, this is not a sterile field. This is not sterile instruments. And I do believe you have no, no training as a doctor. Infections. I don't know the history of orphanages and I'm not very familiar with Maurice Duplessis in Quebec, but uh, I would just like to say that Montreal is a very, very nice city and I do recommend going, coming here for vacations in the summer. It's very nice. I love the city. It is so beautiful and the culture and the food and you know, it's very great. I love my city. Come see us um in the summertime not right now not right now um <laughs> but like june july august come and see us it's wonderful here this story really painted a very dark uh mostly i will believe not true but probably true story about the orphanages in the time of maurice duplessis i don't know anything about that um am i talking too much because i don't want to watch right now i don't i don't i don't want to eat i don't want to be here Oh, Jesus Christ. He did his very best to make the billow. And this was odd because it was. What is the material that you used? How many people have you killed to make that suit? I just want, I just want to know. I'm gonna throw up. Oh. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Oh, I missed you, Mr. Tusk. I would have taken death. I would have taken death. Oh my god. <laughs> How? <laughs> because it's a suit. But he sewed his arms together. How does that work? Can you cut off the suit and be free again or no? Because, honey, you're doomed. You're doomed. I'm so sorry. Like, you, there's no escape from this. There's no coming back from this. I'm scared to shit this man. I think he wants to turn me into like a... Like a... That's it. Now stick with me here. I don't mean to be indelicate. But could there be some sort of sexual angle? A romantic entanglement? An affair or something? Well, yes. No, he's not that kind of guy. I mean, not him. We're not talking about him. It's creepy, right? I had a fella come in here from Quebec two days ago. Too many mentions of my hometown, bitch. My home province. I mean, I love it. <laughs> so now you're gonna drown him? <laughs> um, I just want to give props. Give it up for the designer of that suit it is practical effects it is makeup and costume it is great it looks amazing just let yourself drown honey let yourself die oh oh <laughs> oh that's not funny that's not funny let, let me not laugh <laughs> so he did he did this more than once okay I'm Guy Lapointe, that is my name. And but for the last 10 years of uh, my life, I have been hunting an animal. Oh! Guy Lapointe? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that is a real French Canadian accent, but that is Johnny Depp. That is Johnny Depp. I recognize Johnny Depp. What the fuck? Why do you have such a great French-Canadian accent? I know your ex-wife was French, but... You should not sound this good, eh? We find the pieces of the skinned body. Arms are always uh, fused to, to the body, like a kind of a crucified T-Rex. Oh my god, I'm, I'm flabbergasted right now. I'm shocked. I mean, he's dressed like a Frenchman. 
listen, French Canadians do not wear berets. We don't do that. We don't French. We don't French. <laughs> we don't dress like French people. But I am on the floor right now. Why is Johnny Depp having such a great French Canadian accent when he speaks English? That is shocking. Why did they not hire a real French Canadian? I'm so pissed. But um, he don't do nothing sexy with them, you know. I would argue that it it is sexually motivated, even though he doesn't fuck them. Uh, the 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 first wife, because the first. What is Johnny Depp doing in this movie? Uh... To go and talk to someone else, Mr. Big Bear riding a bulldozer, uh, or maybe you could just uh, uh, firm your. F Fucking boosh. Firm your fucking boosh. <laughs> Firm your fucking boosh. Firm means close. I mean, it's ferm. Firm your fucking boosh, bitch. <laughs> it means shut the fuck up. It means shut the fuck up. I believed that two years back, I met this son of a bitch. La chute? <laughs> That's a real place. Oh my god. But that's not our music. Why do you play French music, asshole? Oh my god, I'm so pissed. Oh my god, I'm so fucking pissed. Ah. Oh. You know what I think, Mr. LaPointe? I think that the real savage animals are the human beings. Not wrong, honey. You're the proof. You're the proof of that, honey. Do you want to know what my theory is? All of the victims have holes in the mouth. Where the tusks? He put something in their mouth that we don't get to see. The tusks. It's the name of the movie. Why do you love her so? I don't understand. Who in the hell would want to be human? Then put yourself in a goddamn costume, asshole. Like, why do you need to put someone else in that misery? Put yourself in the costume. Who wants to be human? Obviously not you, asshole. Become the walrus. All the power to you. Do that. Don't put another human through that. It's unethical. <laughs> My man Gangslinger cannot get out of this. Can we all agree? There's 20 minutes left of this goddamn movie. He's stuck in that, right? We cannot escape this shit. So it's up to... The Sixth Sense Kid, Johnny Depp, and this beautiful woman, I don't know who you are, but it's up to you three to go kill Howard, right? Oh my god. He likes, um, big, goofy, convenience store drinks. I need to watch that movie, I need to watch that movie. Colleen, hurry up! I'm coming! Isn't that Johnny Depp's daughter? <laughs> no way, it's Mr. Mustache. That's Mr. Lily Rose. Mr. That's his daughter. Oh my god, nepotism. What is going on right now? What is going on? What is the lore of this movie? I'm so confused. Uh, how far is Bifrost from here? Yeah, it's about two hours from here. Okay. A boot. A boot. <laughs> ah, shoot me in the face. I'm... Listen, I love making it fun of my country. I love it. But, bitch, don't. We don't speak like that. Yeah. Is You're a freak. You're a disgusting freak. Oh my god. <laughs> if I close my eyes, I can almost imagine being back on Ponder Rock. Go to therapy. What do you need to torture someone for your sick, sick sexual pleasure? Let's not kink shame in this house, but this is too much. Man feeds on the meat and sinew of the helpless. Honestly, good for you. That was the right move. This time it will be different. That's a face. That's a face. That is a face. So I'm gathering this is a skin of multiple other people and a face. You're sick and twisted. You are sick and fucking twisted. But the person who did that costume, give it up. Do you have an Oscar? You deserve it. Uh, uh, this time. I need to see the behind the scenes. I need to see Justice Justin Long get into that costume. I need to see that. 
Please, Jesus, tell me there is a footage somewhere. I have marked this occasion for 15 years now. So, you will fight me, Mr. Walrus! So you did make a costume for you. <laughs> You're sick and twisted. Go to therapy and stop bothering me. Oh my god. You have a terrible choice to make here. You have to kill me if you want to live. Honey, I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to live anymore. And if you live, you will be as a walrus. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I don't want to live as a walrus. You sick fuck. You want to. This is fun because, yes, it is a body horror, mo a horror movie, but it is so much more of a comedy than anything else. So... It's very less traumatizing that way. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him! Ah! Kill him! Kill him! Make it painful! <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! Shoot him in the head! Sh please, Jesus! <laughs> Imagine finding that. Bruh, no. no! God damn, this woman can act! <laughs> So we did s survive, but at what cost? <laughs> Honestly, shoot me in the face. Shoot me in the head. Let's go, Johnny. No, no! Do it. <laughs> oh my god. They kept him alive, huh? What is that, a zoo? Wallace, we're here. You could have given him a bigger enclosure, god damn it. <laughs> How can you keep him alive? Honestly, that's not ethical. I love you. How is he not dead yet? From just from the infection. Oh my god. The water is wide. Kevin, Kevin, you're a sick son of a bitch. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Honestly, this was not as gory or scary or vomit inducing as I thought it would be don't get me wrong this is in fact one of my worst nightmares but this is a comedy movie this is comedy and I am just floored by I did not know I was getting into a Canadian movie I did not know I didn't know that we were gonna go to Winnipeg and we, we were gonna talk about French Canadians as much Quebecois. I didn't I didn't I didn't know and it is rare and it is fun to see my culture uh talked about like that. It's silly, it's really silly, but <laughs> I mean it's it's so fun even though the French Canadian guy was not portrayed by a French Canadian, it was portrayed by Johnny Depp which is interesting i guess and then having his daughter in the same movie and then having i haven't seen that movie i need to watch this movie but maybe i'll watch it after this but she, there's a movie about her and her friend at that convenience store and i think it's a zombie movie i don't know i don't know um but anyways this movie <laughs> This movie, I don't want to say it's dumb. I don't want to say it's stupid, but it is in the kindest way possible. It is a silly, goofy, extravagant, crazy movie. And if it had been like th that story, the story of a man being kidnapped and then chopped up and then being forced to become a walrus, it is absolutely fucking 
disgusting and scary and my worst nightmare. But because it is approached in this comedic lens, it is so fun to watch. It is kind of a fun, nice movie. It's not at all what I expected. I thought it was going to be like super gory and super like disgusting. And I thought I wouldn't be able to finish it, honestly. But it is just a nice Canadian movie. I don't know. I I just thought it, it is nice to have my hometown being talked about. It is nice to have my food being talked about. I don't know. It's, it's nice. It's fun. Uh, but this movie was... This movie, honestly, is fucking great. This movie is good. It's a good movie. <laughs> and the practical effects and the costumes and the makeup, it's absolutely fucking insane. It is so good. Anyways. Anyways. That's all I have to say. Honestly, I had a great time. I kind of feel... I got. I feel great right now. I feel. I feel good. Anyways, I hope you liked it too. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my face and see me watch more horror movies, I need I need inspo. Because I need, uh, I'm going to watch eventually Terrifier 2. And I heard that Terrifier 3 is going to come out this year. I don't know. But I need more horror movies to react to. The problem is, is that I've seen most of them. So... Let me know. I haven't seen As Above So Below, so maybe you can do that. Um, I don't. I don't really. I've seen most of the the horror movies. So, anyways, give me ideas in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of that movie. <laughs> um, but yes, if you want to see more of my face and watch more horror movies commentary, well, follow me. I don't know. You might like it. And let me know in the comments anything, what you thought about this movie. And I thought it was great. <laughs> I thought it was a good movie uh, and a nice watch. I don't know. Um, but yes, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!